Let's just with a little fear And let's make a wish on a star And the dream we gave for going forever I just want a picture from our future I just want a module for us fly with you So that a miracle I hang and join a half lift No words from in my ear Friday, don't let Factory. All right, guys. Welcome to Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, guys, today is the beginning of a long and yet short journey. This is a bit of a romp. Um, it can be as long as you want it to be, uh, so long as you are pretty efficient. I personally have beaten this in less than a year, but some people play for multiple years in a row. I will be just trying to show all the content I can. So guys, give me just a second as I hop in and delete a save file. I've never seen one actually on the verge of collapsing before. Huh? Well, I've been walking for days with no food or no water. Oh, that's not healthy. Hold on a second. Got it. Here, you can have my hoe. Actually, I was hoping for some water. Oh, right, water. Okay, wait just one moment. Got it. 
Here you go, try this watering can. Uh, um, is there something else that you need? I meant some drinking water. Oh, duh! Sorry, it's just all, all the way you look and all. I thought a home watering can would be more your style. Ah. Uh, well, okay, I'll be right back. Here you go, some water and bread. Thank you very much. You saved my life. Oh, it's nothing. Say, you're not from this town, are you? Are you on a trip or something? Well, to be honest, I really don't know myself. What do you mean you don't know? I don't remember where I was before coming here. I don't even know who I am. You mean you have amnesia? Maybe. Do you remember your name? No. Well, everyone needs a name. That's true. Why don't you pick one right now? Okay. We are... Raguna. Correctly, you know, written. Raguna. I like it. You do? Thanks. What's your name, by the way? Oh, my name's Mist. Say, Raguna, what are you going to do now? I'm trying to find an inhabited town. I haven't thought past that part yet. In that case, I have an empty house and field that you can use. I don't know what to say, but no, I couldn't possibly. Don't be silly. I'm not using them anyway. Besides, I meant what I said before. I think you look like a farmer, Raguna. Do you really think I have what it takes to work a farm? Um, well, I think you have talent. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Come on, the house and field are to the north. Alright. Now, we go north. This is Rune Factory. Before you go any farther north and talk to Mist up here, I would recommend not doing that. Instead, come over here to the field. Pick up everything you can. If the weed, or withered grass in this case, as you can see right here, weeds, etc, etc. Pick it all up. If there are branches on the ground, pick them up. There's a reason for this. And the reason is simple. See that clock that's up on the screen? Or I guess down on the screen for you guys due to editing magic? That's, you know, not moving. Take this time, pick up every item, I'll show you what later. As we come up here, you might notice some medicinal herb. This handy little thing can heal 10 HP. This is an antidote herb. It removes poison from the body. It heals the poison status effect. As you may notice, there are some giant rocks around here, as well as some stumps. Leave those alone for now, we can't really touch them. As you come down here, you might notice this yellow flower right here, or yellow grass. This is yellow grass. It's only worth 10, but it's useful for some cooking and other things later. Ignore the medium-sized boulders as well. There's not a lot you can do about it without proper tools. And as you come down here, you might notice this bamboo sprout. Worth 130. It's used for cooking, eating, or in this case for us, selling. Alright, and this is our completed field. Completely open to us, except for, you know some stumps and boulders and things in our way that we can't do anything about right now. Now, before even talking to Mist, I would actually recommend to till a little bit of soil. It'll save us some time in the long run, and it's just a helpful thing to do for now. Alright, that's good enough. I made a minor mistake. Now, your watering can. Fill it up, and you can water 12 spaces with it. For now, we're only going to be watering these nine. And that is fine. Now, in some cases, you could use up just about all of your energy here. And that would be fine. I do not think we want to do that yet. Or actually, you know what? We're going to use up all of our RP so I can explain something to you. Okay. Now that we're about empty... RP is the stamina of this game. It is the stamina, mana, all of those things. As you run low on RP, what could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen when you run out? 
with each of these hits, it's going to cost us two. So we're down to one. It starts hitting into our HP here. After your RP is gone, you start depleting your HP. HP, of course, being hit points, RP being rune points. Rune being the, you know, energy in this game. I would heavily recommend being very, very careful with your rune points in this game. You never go above 100. It is very dangerous if in certain areas that you actually run out. But I would also recommend not being afraid of running out. I would recommend taking some chances, seeing what is safe for you and what isn't. For me, I know what I'm doing in this game. I've played this game pretty extensively, and I'm willing to risk it. But for you, you may not be comfortable with that, and that's fine. Five. So I have done fifth, no, 45 tiles here. I actually want to cut into that a bit more. Skill up. About time to go into skills. This is our skill list. Swordsmanship is, of yeah. course, using weaponry of any kind in this game. Hammers, axes, spears, one-handed, two-handed swords, however you want to do it. It's all about swordsmanship. Forging. Forging is a skill we will not even be touching. The same for pharmacy and decoration for quite some time. That's not something that most people get into until late into the first year, if not the second year. I'm hoping we can hit that point midsummer, but you know, toss up whether we'll manage that or not. Mining is one of the most profitable ways to earn money in this game. It is just fantastic at later points in the game. For now, you're not going to get anything good, and that's fine. It's all about leveling that up, using better tools, and eventually, we'll get there. Communication is your communication with your monsters. In this game, you will not be having animals. Instead, you have monsters. Monster sheep, monster cows, wolves, a bunch of other things. We'll get into that later. Camping, we cannot even touch now, so I won't bother explaining. Logging is your ability to cut down trees, stumps, logs, all of those things. It's all about gathering wood, and it is extremely important. Cooking is another thing we can't really get into immediately, but I have a cool trick for that, so we'll be getting into that later. And finally, fishing. Of course, we're going to be fishing. We're going to be catching a bunch of different kinds of fish, cooking them up, gifting them, selling them. You know, what do you do with fish? So, as we go through the game, I'm going to explain a bit more. But I think for now, let's actually start where we should have been quite some time ago. Hello, Mist. This is my home and farm. What do you think? Not too bad, eh? Yeah, but I'm not asking you to let me work on the land here or anything. Don't worry about that. It's better for me to get all the help I can. But... This is the field. I've not done any work on it for a while, so it's overgrown. Stairs over the clear field? Yes, overgrown. What? What? There's a monster here. Step back, mist. You got any kind of weapon? Use the hoe. Press the B button to fight with it. Uh... I mean, rather than that, I always wanted to try using a watering can. Let's not get hit by the monster. Here we go. I lost some unnecessary HP there, but I managed to water some of these tiles in the process. Oh, I managed to defeat it. Are you okay, Mist? Yeah, I'm okay. What about you, Raguna? I'm also okay, but I think I killed the monster. No, it's still alive. What? Weapons and tools have a kind of magic called Retornin. Retornin. It's a kind of magic that sends monsters back to their original place. Original place? Monsters are a kind of spirit. They originally came from a different world from ours. It looked like its soul went to heaven, but in fact it returned to the real homeland, the first forest. Oh really? Well, I'm glad that I didn't kill it. Anyway, I was impressed by you there. Did you learn swordsmanship somewhere? I may have, but my memory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's besides the point. I want to know what the monster was doing here. Don't they usually appear above ground? There are people called Earthmates who can summon the monsters. Earthmates? There are people who can hear the Earth's voice. Some of them can communicate with the monsters. 
Some people in town live with monsters, but this is the first time a fighting monster was summoned. Really? Well, anyway, you saved me. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, it's nothing. Raguna, I really owe you for this. No, really, it was nothing. As a token of my gratitude, I'm gonna let you work on the fields here. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Well, if you insist, thank you very much. You'll work here. I'm so happy. But what are you doing? Why are you doing so much for me? I'm not really sure, but I feel that you have potential. Potential? Yeah, I feel that you seem to understand the ways of the earth. Is that so? I also feel that while growing vegetables, your memory may come back. Oh, really? In that case, I'd be happy to work on the fields for a while. Great, just get out there and get working. Okay. Ask me if there's anything you need to know. Uh, I'm actually going to skip all this. I will be explaining everything. I've already explained half of it. Okay, I'm sure that's not everything. Is there nothing else you want to ask me? I'll be fine. Well, you're more impatient than I thought. Right, I'm going to give you these seeds, Raguna. Use them to grow some vegetables. You got radish seed. Oh yeah, let's give the farm a name. Try to think of something cool. This is the part that I was unsure of. What to name my farm? I can name it Mist Farm, because, you know, it's Mist's farm, technically. But... I don't really like that. So instead, give me just a second. I'm actually going to name it Silent Farm. I don't know why, but it feels right here. It's just peaceful, I guess. Well, that'll do, I guess. Okay, I'll be here at lunchtime tomorrow, so ask me if there's anything you need to know. That's actually a different response than she gave me on my test file. Interesting. Alright. So, to grow vegetables, you plant them. They grow in a 3x3 square, and you just have to water them daily, and everything's good. Uh, the reason that we actually went through all this effort of, you know, plowing the fields, picking up all the items beforehand, is because today is holiday. They, there are six day weeks in this. You start a holiday and end on Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not Saturday, Friday. I don't know why I said Saturday, but you know, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone has those days. So, because it's holiday, most of the shops are actually closed down. But there's a special shop only open on holidays. There's a traveling salesman. This first day, he will come and he will offer you something really special. But only on the first week of every season. I bet that huge seashell surprised you. It sure did. Uh, who are you? I'm Sabrina. I run that seaside shack over there. My name is Raguna. Oh, you're the one Mist caught hold of. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Mist isn't a bad person. Anyway, that mysterious shell over there is connected to other worlds. Apparently you can exchange messages and items with people from other worlds. But don't ask me how, I've never figured it out. <laughs> if you want though, feel free to try it out. See you around. So we'll cover this real quick. You must first save before entering the mystery shell. Save complete, online play, yada yada. This is the wireless notification stuff. This is all about trading items, just looking at screenshots together, things like that. I, of course, have no friends. Even worse than having no friends, I have no ability to do this function currently. The wireless servers were all taken down for Nintendo DS, so if you're looking to connect to somebody on the other side of the planet, you're out of luck. But if you still have a friend who has the copy and, or you decide to pick up two copies for some reason, you can use this functionality. And it is one of the best ways to become rich and even successful early on. Every time you guys trade items back and forth, the items uh, levels will increase. So you can end up with level 100 seeds day one if you really wanted to. You could end up with, with high level fish to gift people, things like that. However you want to do it. Personally, I will not be making use of this currently. At some point, I hope to make use of this function, because I do have one friend who has this game, but they live in a different country than me. So, cross my fingers that we can get together at some point, and I can actually record the stuff for this. Now, before we move on, and try to go around the buildings, we come to the end of the pier here. Do you like fishing? I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. Do you have a rod? No, not yet. 
That's okay, you're welcome to use one of my old models. Really? Sure, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You received a cheap rod. Now, shops don't open until 9am. I would really suggest just spending some time out here fishing for a bit. You're going to need all the money you can get if you want to do everything you can this first day. Caught a sardine. Now this will take some time, but I'm going to have you guys watch me this first day perform all the actions. Whenever I'm having a fishing day in the future, I may just cut it out or speed up, you know, that kind of thing. Another sardine. Also, it should be mentioned that I would recommend fishing in the sea. I would never recommend fishing around your farm. You will get junk, I'd say, seven times out of ten. And the amount of time it takes to actually catch anything, it's just really not worth it at the beginning. Caught a mackerel. Okay. As you see, even though we got two sardines, they did not stack with each other. And that happens for two reasons. First off, fish do not stack. Period. They just don't. Second off, if you notice that level right there, level 3, level 5, level 4, these sardines are different levels, which actually changes the value of the sardine. Uh, if you notice the cost on the left, the way you actually get the price of any item you want to sell is you take the cost multiplied by the level. So this is worth 60, this is worth 100, this one is worth 120. It is a really good way of making money early and is really exploitable for some items later on. Let's head over to the shop real quick though. Okay, so before we do anything, let's head into the inn. Xavier, wash your face now. You too, Tori. What is it? But I'm in a Carmite cave right now, so I have no time to wash my face. I, I washed it three times already, Mummy. See you later. I probably won't keep that voice because that was awful. I'll have to try testing that later. Those kids of mine. What? A customer was here. What if they saw me flapping about? <laughs> You're an unfamiliar face traveling through these parts. You're welcome to stay at my inn if you'd like. Thanks, but I already have a place to stay. Oh, it's you. You're the one living with Mist, right? That's right. My name's Raguna. I'm Lady Anne. I have a son and daughter about your age. I'm sure they would love to meet you. So this is the inn. You'll see some interesting faces staying here as time goes on. For instance, Lucas. The name is Lucas. I'm a traveler, a poet, and a messenger of love. Don't forget it. Um, my name is Raguna. Nice to meet you. You too. Are you thinking of settling down this town? Well, who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring. I could be here a while, though. I'm traveling the world right now, and this is the best place I've ever stayed in. I could settle down here, but there are too many pretty girls in other countries, too. Oh, really? Good morning. It's good to talk of love. Love? Is this love? La la la. Lucas the Poet. He's an interesting character who is... Uh, eh, he's a love-or-hate kind of Please, guy. Seems Xavier's got the hottest for Mist. My son can be so frustrating. If he likes a girl, why can't he just go tell her? That's a bit of information that you didn't need to tell to a complete stranger, but, you know, sure. So, Sword Leo Smithery. Open 9 to 6, closed on holidays. We can't really do anything there. So let's continue visiting places. Material items. Open 9 to 6, closed holidays. Alright. You look a little pale. Are you okay? What? I'm just a little tired, Laura. Er, uh, Dr. Edward? Yeah, you really do seem tired. Being the mayor must really take it out of you. Look after yourself, okay? Laura, fetch me the usual nutrition drink, could you? Okay. Thanks, Dr. Edward. You've always helped me out. And not just that, everyone in the town is thankful that you came, came here. I finally felt like my true self for the first time. I believe that is vital for us to live in harmony with the Earth. I'm the one who should be thankful. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay, that's it for today. <laughs> 
All right, we've come to the doctor's office. I haven't seen you around these parts before. Are you a traveler? Yes, my name is Raguna. I'm Ed. I'm the town do practitioner. If you're not feeling well, come see me right away. Okay. My name is Lara. I'm a nurse. Nice to meet you. I'm Raguna. Hey, you're the guy who came to Miss Farm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's hard work put... It's hard work working on a farm. Don't push yourself too hard or you may collapse. So it should be noted that sometimes if they have, like, multiple words in a row, like work working, I sometimes read the, little, the word uh, right below it. I make mistakes. Everyone does. So Laura right here is one of the marriage candidates in this game. It is a Harvest Moon game and, more importantly, a Rune Factory game, so marriage is an important thing as you go forward. Keep her in mind, she's a fairly easy one if you want to romance someone. Cardia Library. Open 9 to 6, closed holidays. Seems we came on a really bad day. Gigant Hot Springs. Open 3 to 11, closed. It's open all year. Newman's Farm. 9 to 6, holidays. Yep. Camus's Farm. 9 to 6, holidays. Yeah. This is actually a church. Where's my holy book gone? Oh, he was reading that. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm pleased you're happy, but I wish you wouldn't play such tricks. My name is Wesley. I'm a priest of the church. My name is Raguna. How do you do? It's very nice to meet you. I hope to see you at church on holidays. Thank you. Right. Let us pray together. Good morning. Whenever you feel you've lost your way, please come to church. Yeah, since this is no longer the event... Okay, so this is a special day. Normally everyone would be meeting up at church at this time to pray and things. Um, there's not a lot else we can do here currently, but I mentioned previously something... This right here is Ivan, the traveling salesman. We'll get to him in just a minute once we have a little bit of money, but for now... Mayor Godwin's Manor. Visiting hours 9 to 6. Closed holidays. If you notice on the right, there was another mansion to the right, but... I can't do anything there yet. You cannot do anything in any of the other buildings except for one of them until tomorrow. So, we've gone around meeting everyone we can today. Well, actually, just to be sure. Yeah, okay. I wanted to be sure since I don't think I've ever tried to go there on a holiday before. We're just going to spend a little bit of time fishing now, now that we've killed about an hour. So, if you want to get strong really quickly in this game, waste everything. Waste your HP, waste your RP, use every skill you can, use the extra time you can, don't just sit around doing nothing. Because that is the only true way to waste. So, we're here to kill time until about noon. So, I think I'll jump forward, assuming I still have enough room. Yeah, I'll probably have enough room. Caught a squid, which is fantastic. Squid are worth 50, and this is level 3, so it's worth 150. Okay, now that it's the afternoon, you can come here. What happened to you? Has Xavier been in? He missed work again and went off somewhere. No, he's not been here. Oh, really? Let me know if you see him. Sure, anyway, gonna stay for a drink? Oh, I'd love to, but I gotta find Xavier. See you around. Is the coast clear? Yeah. Thanks, Emmett. That's the last time I let you hide here. Got it, thanks. Catch you later. So we met another character who, you know, is a very interesting sort. Nice to meet you, I'm Emmett, the owner of this bar. The name's Raguna, nice to meet you too. Hi, oh, you're the guy who came to live on Miss Farm, or so the rumor has it. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it seems that she likes you a bit too. Well, good luck. This is just proof of how much, you know, gossip goes around. Welcome. 
Welcome, so what's it gonna be? Can I see the menu? This is your saving grace today. The reason we picked up everything we could is because you're gonna be selling all the worthless stuff immediately. You're gonna be selling the rocks for five apiece. You're gonna be selling all the weeds, all the withered grass. It's all money. To us, everything's money. So I was hoping to keep these logs, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. Logs are actually used for something later on, but... I would rather guarantee us the ability to do what I want to today. So... We kept some of the logs. Total seven of them, so that's nice. Now that we have over 2,000 G, let's go talk to Ivan. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name's Ivan. I'm a traveling salesman. Uh, my name is Raguna. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Raguna. I have plenty of interesting things for sale here. I'm here on the holiday every week, so come along anytime, eh? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what we have. A kitchen. Can't live without a kitchen. Where would you make dinner? A small kitchen costs 1,000 G. The reason you wouldn't buy a large kitchen is because you don't have a large enough house. You have to upgrade your house to be able to get anything bigger or more advanced. So for now, we stick with the basic kitchen. It costs us a thousand G or more. Small fridge costs another thousand G. But because we have both of those items now, which... Ow, my wallet. Um... We now have things at our house that are worth something. If you come inside... Ragoon, it seems your goods have arrived. This is a kitchen. Press A to here to premiere a meal. What kind of meals can you make with different foods? Try out varied combinations. Russell in the library has a recipe book for sale. You can just read it too. Okay, see you. So if you want to make food, this is the place to do it. Currently, we have zero utensils. We won't be able to get utensils for a few weeks, but if you come over to this, you could prepare things here if you had the correct materials. We do not have any no utensil ones, but um, I'll explain more on cooking later. It's not something that we have to deal with today, but even bigger, we now have a fridge, and that means you can store stuff in here. If you want to make everything in this game like I want to do, you need the space. So, you know, worth having pretty early on. Now, we're going to start out by eating these. And hoeing a bit more. Like I said before, test your limits, see what you can handle, what works for you. For me, I'm going to be doing everything I can to be efficient. But some people don't like that kind of stress. Some people want a casual experience or even just to not have to be stressed by it. And that's fine. That is completely okay. For me, I'm just going to be trying to get as overpowered as I can so later in the game I don't have to worry about things. And let's come down here, because there's still some more people we can meet today that we haven't. Right off the bat, this is Mist's house. Hi, Raguna, what can I do for you? Don't forget to water the seeds after sowing them or the crops won't grow. And if you come up here, this is it? You got an empty bottle empty bottles. Much like in Zelda, you used to put medicine in, or other items, but in this case, medicine. Uh, if you go to the doctor in town, he can actually prepare medicine for you. Medicine is extremely helpful in that it heals 150 HP. Our current max HP is a whopping 100, so it's a bit overpowered at this point in the game. It costs 400 G though, so be careful and sparing in its use here in the game. Late game, though, spam the hell out of them. Okay. Now if we come up here... The name's Raguna, nice to meet you. 
Is there a reason I should be? My name's Sharon. I'm always searching the castle near ruins. The townsfolk always seem to be frightened of the fact that I'm always alone in this kind of place. It's not a bad thing to be into ruins. It's kind of mysterious. You're a funny one. <laughs> I feel some kind of mysterious power in these ruins. I don't want you to come too close. Leave me alone. Okay, I got it. Alright. And that is one of my friends' favorite character. <clears throat> you know who you are. So, the reason I'm kind of just walking around killing time is that... Just that. I want to kill time. At 3 p.m., if you remember, the bathhouse opens up. And if you go to the bathhouse, then what do you do? You take a bath. You not you don't have to do anything over here, but I just want to show this down here. This will become relevant a bit later in the game. Quite a bit later in the game, actually. Beyond lies the sex border. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Godwin, mayor of Cardia. The border to the Sex Empire is just up ahead. I don't think it would be smart to try to waltz on in. I'd better head back. Alright. I say sex. I've heard some people say sech or seches. I prefer sex. God, that sounds awful. But, quote, blue 2019, I like sex. Yeah. Alright, if you come over here... Carmite Cave. Unauthorized entry prohibited. If you remember, the uh, kid that we saw, Xavier, mentioned something about Carmite Cave before, and now he was heading there. Uh, there are dungeons in this, in this game, as you might have guessed, based on the fact that we've done a little bit of combat. And as such, you know, we can delve into those, I think starting tomorrow. So guys, I'm actually going to call the episode here, in front of this guy. Alright, that's probably just a good place to stop, random guy who I, for some reason, forgot was going to be out here. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, we're just going to go around the town, meet some more people, use the bath, and probably fish and plow some more fields for the rest of the day. So, I'll see you all next time.